Hello, I'm Dr Beth Colby from Talk Mental Health. Dyscalculia is a specific learning disability that affects the ability of a person to understand mathematical concepts, numeracy and arithmetic. People with dyscalculia may understand other areas of maths, such as algebra and geometry, and may be proficient at other subjects that do not involve numbers, such as English. It is thought that the lack of number sense that is common in people with dyscalculia is associated with the function of the left intraparietal sulcus of the brain, which deals in numbers, and with the frontal lobe, which deals with reasoning. As dyscalculia is a difficulty relating to just one function of the brain, it is not necessarily related to intelligence. The condition can occur on its own, but may coexist with another specific learning disability, so, for instance, 60% of people with dyslexia have also got dyscalculia. It can occur with mathematics, anxiety and also some medical conditions. Despite the fact that about 6% of the population have dyscalculia, research into the causes of dyscalculia are 30 years behind that of dyslexia. So what causes dyscalculia? Some causes are genetic, some are related to the development of the brain, such as fetal alcohol syndrome and prematurity. Some researchers believe that dyscalculia is a result of lack of concrete, i.e. hands-on instruction in mathematics early on in life. Having dyscalculia will not just affect somebody in their maths lessons, it will affect people's everyday lives. People with dyscalculia may have difficulty planning, scheduling, sticking to timetables, getting somewhere on time, planning their lives, reading analogue clocks, cooking, DIY, budgeting, driving and navigating, memorising phone numbers and of course train timetables. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.